Hey everyone, what's up? This is Allah from VFX Arabia. Um, today I'm gonna share with you the brick wall builder tool I created using uh, MCG. This is my second tool creating. And um, uh, first of all, I'd advise you to watch the uh, demonstration of the tool so you kind of know what I'm talking about here. And I would like also to thank um, the great community of uh, MCG on Facebook on and uh, script spot they helped me a lot during uh, building this tool and I use a lot of their tools like um, I grab some flows and setups they use and unhook it in my setup so in this video I'm just gonna uh, go with you through the process um, of creating the tool uh, if you can see here the setup is a bit messy um, but it's pretty much um, easy to follow uh, in this section uh, is talking about the brick and here is about gripping the end part here is the transformation position rotation and scale and in the middle part I'm talking about uh, building a single strand a random that goes uh, between the min and max and at the end uh, here is the uh, transformation across uh, the line uh, finally we combine all the meshes and fit them to the output so if I zoom here let's talk about okay building a single strand I'm going between those two number min and max uh, get this random number and um, if let's say I'm here at a zero point I determine he, uh, the last point of the strand and then I go through a lerp to define positions across uh, this vector uh, then uh, here I fit it uh, through remove some of those positions I put a probability of one of them might be removed and then after this it's gonna be fed to an array uh, which gonna ask for a mesh okay here we go back um, to our uh, brick section there is an array of nodes it's gonna be fed uh, here's the uh, proxy mesh if it is enabled then it's gonna take that node and build like a bounding box uh, around it and feed it as a mesh and then we have the randomized material ID which is also I didn't build this part I took it from a great tool I'm gonna talk about um, later which is cloner 2d and also the um, path constraint tool helped me a lot uh, in determining the length of a curve also I'm not gonna talk about it Um, after this, the mesh is going to be fed through the transformation um, scale, random scale, rotation, then uh, finding a position, then going to be uh, hooked on that strand. Okay, this is the first strand got built. Uh, after this, it's going to be fed and distributed across uh, the line, which brings us to this part here on top. And as I said, um, this part here is uh, I didn't build. I took it from the uh, path constraint uh, for our friend. I hope I pronounced the name right. Vu, uh, which um, measures the length of a curve. I don't know how the heck he did this. And then we divided on the uh, brick size that will give us uh, how many bricks do we need which can be fed to the uh, transformation transform uh, on a curve that will give us a matrix of uh, uh, an array of matrices that's uh, where the strand is going to stand on uh, in this part applying strides uh, every other uh, point on the lines gonna be uh, shifted up a bit so the uh, 
how I'm gonna explain it. So the the bricks gonna join together, forming the normal uh, brick shape that we know. Um, after this, it's gonna be fed to this array. Um, this array of matrices is gonna be mapped um, with the meshes, where they're gonna be combined together and outputted. And pretty much that's it for this tool. I hope I explained it right. Uh, last thing I'm gonna talk about the uh, end part. Uh, nothing uh, special about it. It's the same as the bricks. It's gonna go through proxy. A randomized material and then transformation and then gonna be a stand on the tip of the strand of the bricks I'm gonna take uh, the last uh, uh, part of the array of the strand array and replace it with the tip mesh combine it and then I'm gonna go with the flow um that's it for this video uh, i hope you enjoyed and i hope i explained it well uh, thanks for watching